There's been a number of Greek Australian tennis players on the scene this year, but few have confronted the challenges facing Christos Cipriou. After I lost my sight, I thought a lot of things would uh, would not work out for me because of you know the sight difficulties. Um, but coming to blind sports has really, really changed my life. He lost most of his sight in 1999, but never lost his dream of becoming a professional sportsman. I would love to play internationally and I would also like to, like, like to play professionally. I want to get to that international yeah, and, and experience level. So I'm really, really working hard. I'm working hard at that. It's a relatively new sport. Organisers are working towards holding Australia's first blind tennis open with Japan next year, with the hopes of pushing for a category in the Paralympics. To do that, you've got to have your own local tournaments and an international tournament as well. So uh, we're moving in that direction. It's an exciting prospect for vision impaired athletes. Your opportunity to involve in sport recreational activity is minimal. Having a tennis program like this have given them a whole new way of life. Blind tennis is a bit different than regular tennis. There's a lot more communication between players and they use a specially designed foam ball with a noisemaker inside. But the competition is just as fierce. Oh, you got to watch out for other balls too, going from other courts. That's another thing. But uh, yeah, it does get pretty competitive, yeah. But I enjoy it. Abby Dinham, SBS World News.